The basic concept of color gradient is putting an intermediary between two colors. Tint is a lighter version of a regular color, while shade refers to a darker version of it. This black and white color gradient can also be called 50 shades of gray. An airplane has moving elements in the wings and at the tail. In this tutorial video, we will teach you how to make an airplane look like it's changing direction by manipulating the wing and tail positions by adjusting the tint or shade of gray to make them look brighter or darker. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. Contrary to its name, fixed wing aircraft, the wings of an airplane do not remain flat throughout the flight. They have moving parts that animate at different parts of the flight. When an airplane is preparing for takeoff, it has wing elements that move downward. These are slots in front and flaps at the back. Let us portray the flaps being moved downward. Let's click on all of them. choose gradient fill and the shadow which is black should be facing south since not all the flaps are exactly positioned southbound some of them are southeast while the others are southwest interestingly the ailerons of an airbus 320 plane also act like flaps. This is called the flapperon effect. So let's include the ailerons in the shadow wing. For the left wing, the shadow should be facing southeast. It should be linear diagonal from top left to bottom right. And for the right wing elements, it should be facing southwest. That is linear diagonal from top right to bottom left. Flaps are not the only wing elements that move downward. There are also elements that move downward in front. These are the slats. And then in the same way, let's fill them up with a color gradient. For the left wing, the shadow should be facing northwest. And for the right wing, it should be facing northeast. When an airplane touches the runway, there are wing elements that move upward. These are called spoilers or speed brakes. For these wing elements to look like they're moving upward, we will choose a gradient fill that is having a tint of gray. Instead of black, we will choose white. And when the wings raise up during landing, the white tint should be facing south as the north has the hinge that is connected to the wing. Interestingly, the spoilers are not the only wing elements that raise up during landing. The ailerons also get along with them. This is called the spoileron effect, where ailerons act like spoilers. will also make them raise up. When an airplane reaches a certain altitude, 
its wings would flatten. The flaps and slats would retract. So let's select medium gray for the entire wing by inputting 128 to the red, green, and blue values. The elevators behind the horizontal stabilizer adjust the altitude or flight level of an airplane. These aren't the elevators that you see in buildings. To make it look like it's moving upward, we will put a tint of white. I mean, we'll make them look lighter. Let's select gradient fill and then the white light should be facing southward. Southeast for the left elevator and southwest for the right one. To make the elevators move downward and make the airplane look like it's descending, we will just replace the white with a black one. Just like in a boat, the rudder steers the airplane. To make the airplane look like it's turning left, the rudder has to be adjusted. Depending on which side are you viewing from, the rudder can either be lighter or darker. When the airplane is turning left, the rudder being viewed from the left side should look lighter while well, it should look darker from the right side. To make it look lighter, we have to select the destined color to be white. And since the rudder is slightly pointed backward, the heading of the white light should be southeast when viewed on the left, and then southwest when viewed on the right. But since it is turning left, we should darken the rudder when viewed from the right. When the airplane is turning right, the rudder would look darker when being viewed from the left and lighter when you view it from the right. They would just simply interchange positions when turning in the opposite direction. An object would look lighter when it's being moved nearer and darker when it's being moved further away. Ailerons are wing elements that make the airplane tilt. These are found near the wingtips. When the airplane is tilting counterclockwise, the left aileron goes up while the right one goes down. For the left aileron to look like it's being raised up, we have to make it look brighter. So the destined color should be white. Well, for the right aileron, we make it look darker, so it's like being moved downward. So instead of white, we select black for the right aileron. These ailerons are not the only moving parts during an airplane's tilt. The spoilers near the aileron that is being raised upward will also move at various degrees to make the airplane easier to turn while being tilted. The spoilers that are closer to the ailerons will go up a lot while those that are closer to the fuselage will only move a little bit. So the middle aileron should be set to an average of 128 and 255 between gray and white. So that is 192. Basically a tint of gray called silver. And then for the wing side that is closer to the aileron, we make it 
more bright. So the average of 192 and 235 is 224. Well, the spoiler that is much closer to the fuselage will only tilt a little bit. So it has an average of 128 and 192. That is 160. This is how the airplane looks like when performing a counterclockwise tilt. For a clockwise tilt, which makes the airplane turn right a little bit, let's interchange the positions of the left and right ailerons. This time, the left aileron goes down while the right one would go up. So let's interchange your black and white destined colors to make the airplane tilt in the opposite direction. This time, the right spoilers will be the moving parts, not anymore the left ones, because we're tilting clockwise. So let's restore back those left spoilers to a medium gray. And then apply the same thing for the right spoilers, just as what we have done with the left. The right spoiler that is closer to the fuselage will only tilt a little bit. While those that are closer to the ailerons will tilt more. So to make things easier, let's select the middle spoiler. Let's set it to an average of 128 and 255. That is 192. This is a tint of gray called silver. This right aileron that is closer to the fuselage will only tilt a little bit. So let's set it to an average between 128 and 192. That is 160. For the aileron that is closer to the spoiler, I mean spoiler that is closer to the aileron, will make it tilt a lot more. It should be higher than 192, but lower than 255. So that average number is 224. This time, we have just shown you a clockwise tilt on an airplane and how would the wings look like when it's turning right. How amazing it is to apply the principle of 50 shades of gray on an airplane. The wings and tail seem to move through shadowing. These parts surrounding the fuselage move to tilt the airplane on one side, turn, and change in flight level.